Okay, I'm going to show you how to use one of our digital backdrops. Today we're using um, Wash Tub, which is a nice neutral um, color backdrop. And our subject is here. And sometimes I'll use the magic wand tool, but in this case there's a lot of lightness and stuff and it doesn't do that great. So I'm going to use my quick select tool. And I'm going to start going around and selecting my subject here. Okay. I don't think we need this little extra bits, but oh, let's go ahead. I'm going to take and come up here to select, modify. Sometimes I'll feather it a little. Um, we like two pixels. And then I'm going to take my move tool. I'm going to grab her. Bring her over and drop her right on here. And whatever backdrop you choose. And we'll resize her. Move her around to however would look good. And see, I've already got her. Sometimes when you drop them, uh, they go, you know, they might come up here. Let me see, you can see the whole thing. So you have to move your layer between the cover up layer and the background layer. So that's how you get that look like they're actually inside the fur there. And there we go. And sometimes at this time, if my selection um, wasn't perfect. I will come in and maybe do some erasing and such, but um, that doesn't look too bad. I might take a little bit of this fur out from right here. more of a little hat there. Yeah. So then I'll flatten it. And oh wait, before I flatten, let me show you something else. Sometimes I'll take the on the background and I might add a little bit of shading around her. Just like like you would have an actual baby in here. Maybe she's um, maybe she's making a little shadow on the actual backdrop. Sometimes it makes it look a little more realistic. Might have gone a little too much on there, but sometimes a little bit will help with that. So, okay, so let's go ahead and flatten that. And then sometimes I'll add like a, um, do some more editing or add an action that will kind of um, blend the whole thing together and make it a little more cohesive. So let's see, maybe, um, Let's see what this antique pink looks like from Florabella. Yeah, it just depends on how much you want. But you know, you can do anything here. You could leave it like it is, but sometimes I think sometimes that helps to add a little bit of something to the whole thing that will include the backdrop and your subject. So there you go. That's a finish. You could just save that. Um, you're finished. You don't want to save that as your original backdrop because um, then it'll cover up uh, your original file. So you just want to save that. And there you go. Thanks a lot for watching.